What's your name and do you have a title? Hi, I'm Pepe Cavanas, uh, citizen. <laughs> you were out in the streets during the Republican and during the Democratic conventions. What are the comparisons and contrasts between the two cities, how they handled it? Uh, very much a night and day difference between Tampa and Charlotte. Um, Tampa seemed to be a definite police state. They didn't want anybody in there. It was not a friendly place to be. It wasn't a welcomed place to be. Charlotte was all inclusive. It was welcoming, inviting. You could interact with the delegates. You could go pretty much anywhere in the city. Um, the Secret Service zone was limited to 20 feet in front of the building. Um, you could walk up to it, you could hang out. Um, you could go into all the, the events. They were for the people. It seemed like the uh, Democratic Convention was for the American people to be involved with. Whereas the RNC was, stay out of our business. We want nothing to do with you. Um, it was kind of a scary place to be in Tampa. I really felt threatened at any moment we could be detained, arrested, beaten. But the police presence in Charlotte, they were cordial, friendly, professional. Uh, we were able to go on our marches two, three times a day. They escorted us. They blocked off all the traffic for us. They provided water. They just... That's the way a convention needs to be, is the way Charlotte did it. So if, if people are planning, if a city is planning a big event, um, who should they look to? They, should they look to the city of Tampa or to the city of Charlotte about how to organize that event? I would definitely consult with uh, representatives from Charlotte. I think they their plan was right on. I'd give them an A+. Plus. Um, they had the right uh, approach, whereas Tampa was, uh, I think, a failure as far as including the people.